In this video, we're going to review the CCGAD Dart Max electric scooter. We're going to unbox, assemble, go over the controls, test ride, and review the e-scooter. The Dart Max has a 350 watt rear hub motor with a max speed of 19 miles per hour, thumb throttle, 36 volt, 10.4 amp hour battery with a range of up to 35 miles, rear disc and electric brakes, 10 inch pneumatic tires, headlight, tail light, and weighs 35 pounds. Additional specs can be found in the description section below. This is the box that it came in. It's fairly small. This was everything inside the box. We also have the charger and the instruction manual. There's also some bolts and an Allen key. I'm gonna start installing everything. Making sure that this plug is connected, we're gonna fish it in here and then put this into place. Then we'll take our bolts and fasten them. Here are the four bolts and I'm gonna use my Allen key to tighten all of them. I have all four of these bolts tight. This is the latch for the handlebar. Just slide it in like that and then you can carry the entire scooter. And then you can push this back out. Next we'll fold this handlebar stem up and then you can pull this lever up until it clicks and then in order to pull this lever down you need to push this red pin and then you can pull this down. The charging port is in the middle, pull this tab here and then you can plug the charger in and then plug the other side into the outlet. The handlebar is pretty simple, we just have the grips, we have the brake lever and then we have the display with one power button. There's also the throttle, so in order to turn it on, we press and hold the power button until this displays. And turning the screen brightness down, it automatically turns the headlight on. To turn it off, we press the power button once. To turn the headlight back on, we press the power button once. To turn it off, we press it again. We have the different displays here, which I'll show you in a second. We have the gear, the current speed, and the total miles. There's also the battery level. This is the instruction manual. We have the different parts of the bike. We have the different function modes, cruise control, pedestrian mode, sensor light, smart start, Bluetooth, engine, and fault prompt. We have the different gears. We have the L, M, and H. For L, we can go up to six kilometers per hour. M goes up to 20 kilometers per hour and H goes to 25 kilometers per hour. There's also a speedometer. Then the battery power divided into five grids and a power switch. By default, it goes to the M mode. You have to press the power button twice to change the different modes. And then cruise control and sensor light are turned off by default and you can turn them on through the app. Cruise control, in order to get that to work, you have to go more than six kilometers per hour and then press and hold the throttle for 8 seconds. Then you can repress the accelerator or brake or shift gears to exit cruise control. It says that the headlight turns on automatically, go to a dark place and it turns on by default. And here's the different specs for the different models. It goes to M by default. To change the different modes we press the power button twice and it goes to high. If you press it twice again, it goes to M, press it twice again, it goes down to L. It goes back to M. For the throttle, it doesn't work until you go more than three kilometers per hour. I also tried pressing the power button three times. Nothing happens. If you try pressing it four times, nothing happens. I think only pressing it once or twice works. You can either scan the QR code on the back of the instruction manual or go to the app store for iPhones and type in CCGAD. 
So that's what I did here, and I found the app right here. I'm going to download it. Let's open it up. Okay, allow to use Bluetooth. So I don't have a, an account, so I need to sign up. I'm going to fill in the information here. Okay, now it says binding device, so I need to turn the scooter on. So it found the Dart Max. Let's bind it. Select the model and hit confirm. Bluetooth name cannot be empty, so I'll just put Dart Max. Confirm. Starting from the top, there is a bell icon with notifications. If I click the angel, there's the units. I'm going to keep it in miles, but you can change it to kilometers. If I click manual, nothing happens. I can turn cruise control on, and then automatic light is on by default. I can turn it off. It shows you the remaining battery. It's at 100%. Total ride time is zero hours. Single mileage is zero miles. The total mileage is zero miles. If I press record, there's writing data for this week. I haven't written it. If I hit mine, it has my medals. So I have no medals. Security settings. You can change the security settings. Device management. That's the scooter that I have. Uh, cache clearing about. And then upload log. If I click this button on the top right, it has the different languages, the units, and then you can close your account or log out. So that's pretty much it. I go back to device, that's the information that is available. It's a pretty simple app. If I hold the throttle steady for around 8 seconds, the cruise control should start activating. So right here, you can see that cruise control light flashing, and it's holding the speed steadily. In order to get out of it, you press the brake lever. Right now we're going to test the acceleration and max speed in each of the gears. I'm actually voicing over a previously recorded video because in typical GoPro fashion, something goes wrong. We're going to start in the low gear. We're hitting 4 miles per hour and that's the max speed that we're going to get. Moving on to M. We're going and it's hitting 11. 12, 13, 13 miles per hour is the max that we're going to get. Let's come to a stop. Going to H. We're going. We hit 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, we hit 19 miles per hour before we have to slow down. So I'm going to start it over again. We hit 22 miles per hour just for reference, but we're going downhill and I didn't start at zero. So I'm going to start it again. Here we go. Fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. We hit 20 miles per hour before the stop sign. So I think 20 miles per hour is the max that we're gonna get. We got 22 miles per hour going downhill, but on a flat, I think we're only gonna get 20 and that's what's advertised. This is a slight incline. And we drop from 12. We're going down to eight, seven, eight miles per hour, and the motor is slowing down. Let's go up another hill. And the speed is at 12. It's dropping down to eight miles per hour. Now we're at seven. Let's come to a stop. There's a car in our way. Starting at a steeper hill, we're getting four miles per hour, five, and the motor is struggling. 
to go up this hill and it is not going at all. I think this hill is too steep. It's advertised for 15 degree hills. I'm kicking and it's helping a little bit to go up this hill, but it's not providing much assistance. So I think this hill is not gonna work. Let's go down the hill and test the braking. Braking seems to work well. It's slowing the scooter down. And then I'm coming to a stop and I was able to come to a complete stop. So right now I'm going to test the braking. I'm gonna hit the max speed and just slam on the brakes right at this cone right here. And it stopped and I would say that's around 20 feet. We're gonna test the braking again. We're gonna hit the max speed. We're at 16, 18, and then slamming on the brakes. The rear wheel actually skidded and I traveled probably more than 20 feet last time. Oh, there's this dog chasing me now. Uh, last time I gradually applied the braking and it stopped around 20 feet. So I would say that the braking is gonna be around that. I'm not surprised that their braking distance was so large because 70% of your stopping power comes from the front and there's no brake in the front. All of it is in the rear. There's a rear disc brake and a rear electric braking. I would just say brake early if you need to brake. On to the review. What I like about the scooter is that everything feels solidly built. This handlebar is one piece that's very rigid. The stem is also rigid and so is the frame. I didn't feel any kind of flexing when I was riding it. This brake controls the rear disc brake and also the electric braking on the hub and it works very well. I grabbed the brake lever earlier and it bit too hard where the rear wheel was skidding. I just need to be more gentle with the brake lever but it's nice that it can lock up. I also thought the latching mechanism worked well. There's this slot right here that it attaches into and once it's in there it feels very snug and secure. There's also a headlight and a tail light. It also goes up to 20 miles per hour which is nice and it's also supposed to have a range of up to 35 miles but I wasn't able to test that. Moving on to suggestions, I would have liked to have seen a front brake of some kind. Right now it's just a free wheel and all of the stopping power is in the rear. 70% of your stopping power is in the front, so I feel like the braking could be better. Other than that, the scooter works well. This MSRP is for around $550. It's currently on sale for $350. For the latest pricing, check out the description section below. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and take care. As I previously mentioned, my GoPro footage failed. It recorded the audio, but there's a bunch of static. So you can just enjoy some footage of me riding while listening to this music in the background.